Well, welcome to today's Thursday Lunch Club. Um, I've Those of you who don't know me yet, because we're now being watched from around the globe, I'm Rabbi Ronnie Figdor from St Kilda Hebrew Congregation. We've been running a Thursday Lunch Club now for a few years, mostly face-to-face, -face, but during coronavirus in 2020, we went on to Zoom. We've had a few face-to-face -face since, but today we're back on Zoom for a couple of reasons. One of them is because our Thursday lunch club coincides with uh, Miguel, sorry, with Tanit Esther, and of course we're not going to offer lunch during Tanit and Esther. And also because I'm very honoured to have a rabbi from Iran, and we can't be face live, so we're going to do this via Zoom, and we've recorded this just shortly before before the um, Thursday Lunch Club. I'm talking with Rabbi Avi Hay Rahimi. Welcome Rabbi Rahimi, how are you? Thank you very much, uh, from Jerusalem, from Tehran to Jerusalem, but right now we're located in Jerusalem more than 42 years as Iranian Community Coordinator. Uh, so it's, uh, really it's uh, my honor and pleasure gonna be uh, with your uh, crowd uh, and to you especially, thank you. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to have you. Where were you born? I was born at, you know, in 1961 in Iran, in Tehran. But as Israeli citizens, that we were, at, you know, my parents were on mission over there, but my grandparents got to, to Israel, Eretz, Eretz Israel, uh, during the 1920, 100 years ago. Uh, so the, because, uh, you know, the, the word be, 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 before the Independence Day in uh, 1948, 47, 48, they went back and forth as uh, businessmen. And uh, after the 1979, uh, as Israeli citizen, I got back uh, as Israeli citizen to Israel and uh, served in army, uh, in uh, IDF intelligence, uh, and uh, and uh, right now, as a research analyst and uh, expert in regiments uh, on Iran-Israel, a cycle war for national security and intercultural diplomacy, uh, expertise analyst, uh, besides as, as a rabbi uh, um, in Jerusalem right now, and Iranian com uh, communities coordinator and in, in contact uh, with the, as well, as uh, with the Jewish communities in states and in Europe, also in Israel, and um, a great job to learn from each of these communities. Now, can I just challenge you on something? Were you born in Iran or Persia? No, the point is that it's the, uh, the difference between the Persia, whatever that you say Persia, it's a great Persia. Great Persia, it means that the empire, uh, that 25, Hundred years ago, even uh, before uh, 1400 years ago, before uh, that Islam uh, conquered, uh, uh, conquered and Arabs conquered uh, uh, Iran. Uh, but uh, it, Great Persia, when it said the uh, Cyrus Empire, uh, it was uh, you know part of the Afghanistan, part of the uh, Pakistan, part of the Azerbaijan. Uh, 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 Uzbekistan and uh, we say uh, Tajikistan, uh, part of the Syria and Iraq was uh, part, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, part of the great empire of, uh, of Persia. But when you say Iran, Iran, it means that uh, these uh, hundred years uh, that it's uh, so tiny, so little, but uh, they have uh, too much in common. Uh, with the other communities that uh, more even that they are 45 uh, millions right now in Iran under the Islamic Republic, uh, but uh, they have uh, their own uh, great uh, civilization uh, that uh, they are, um, uh, you know, also besides Iranian Judaica, uh, uh, Iranian Judaica or Persian, uh, uh, we have uh, heritage 2700 years ago, and don't forget that uh, 2500 years ago, 20% of the uh, great empire in the during the days of the 
Shoshan Purim and the Eser uh, Ramodachai, we have 20% of the great empire of Iran, Persia, were Jews. So where they are right now? That's what I'd like to know. How, <laughs> how far back does your family go? How far, how many generations back does your family go? It's, you know, whenever in Israel, they have uh, from 1920, uh, five generations. But because the, my parents were on uh, diplomatic, uh, di diplomatic missions uh, in Iran in 1979, uh, so uh, from that uh, time, uh, I'm in Israel and uh, serving all these uh, communities uh, back and forth. Uh, for uh, the recruiting students are the verified. We have more than 2250 uh, uh, students uh, that we're following up and uh, uh, supporting that and giving these 70 uh, communities all around the uh, states, uh, Iranian states uh, for uh, mediation, divorcement, uh, as well uh, outsourcing whatever that the rabbis, uh, they, they cannot uh, do that by their own at uh, outsourcing uh, services, working working with the uh, students. Uh, and uh, I, I can say, uh, uh, Rabbi Figdor, uh, uh, that's mostly the uh, I learned, uh, that maybe the, I was uh, uh, four years ago, I had a BA, uh, but because of uh, my students asking too many questions besides Dayanut uh, and Rabbanut, it's, uh, I became, uh, you know, have four masters and my PhD uh, on the sanctions of Iran and, uh, you know, to national security, to public diplomacy, uh, the same uh, Middle East politics, international affairs, Jewish philosophy, uh, and uh, I'm going to give you a sociology and so I'm going to give you a psychology, family therapist, and so I'm going to give you more uh, you know, to, to understand, first of all, uh, the students, non-Jewish dating, whatever that we have uh, in our communities in states. And uh, whenever that you say, whenever that you're challenging, you say challenging, yeah. really these students and the teenagers and young couples, um, they were challenging us as uh, rabbis. And that's why I have to expand my, it's not just Rabbanut and Dayanut. We have to expand uh, whatever that you know and, know, and knowledge and wisdom uh, to how going to overcome the challenges that they're uh, facing, not only from the shul, you know, far away, uh, give yeah. them orders. Uh, if I could return for a moment to your childhood. You were born in Iran. Yes. Oh. What could you describe a bit about the Jewish community of Iran in your early days? It's uh, first of all, uh, whenever that we're speaking about Iran, it's uh, before uh, 1979. Before 1979, it was great as uh, those Israelis that were on mission uh, more than uh, 107,700 uh, uh, Israelis were over there. Uh, we have uh, our own. Uh, elite uh, school, uh, British, as from my accent, you can, <laughs> you can yes. <laughs> understand that four languages we have over there, uh, as well in English, uh, you know, English speaking, uh, it's, uh, as well Persian, Arabic, and uh, Hebrew. And uh, so it was, as Israeli citizens, was great, uh, going to come to Israel, then going to go to the States, even my, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, my, uh, what do you say, uh, schoolmates right now uh, living in states and uh, living in uh, New York and uh, Los Angeles. That's great. Uh, getting over there, not only as a rabbi, as a family therapist. They they make yeah. the money right now. I have to uh, give them the coach and mentorship to the kids uh, and the young couples. But uh, from the childhood, it's a, you know it's whenever that you have the monarchy, uh, Shah Han Shah will say. Sure. Uh, it was great because uh, there wasn't so anti-Semitism. Israelis coming back and forth of the agriculture uh, for you know whatever that can do uh, for the army and so on. There was good relationship and the 2,700 years of heritage. When you say from Shoshana Bira to Jerusalem, it was really 
it's a uh, touch, you know, it's uh, tangible. Uh, yeah. uh, in comparison, whatever that uh, during the 42 years that your denial of Holocaust, everything is anti, 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 but was great. Right now, one of the Judaists, the Molai, uh, that got uh, to Israel, uh, that he say, I don't, I, I want to come to Israel, even if you, you don't yeah. let me as a Judaist, and uh, to, to challenge an Israeli. And also the princess, uh, Reza Pahlavi the second, uh, brought the, the good relationship uh, with the Israel that we have uh, during the, all the, we have Iran Judaica heritage together. Uh, so books were written in, uh, as Ladino and uh, what the Yiddish, what you spoke, uh, you know, to speak in their language and writing. Yes. Uh, in the uh, writings in Hebrew, the same thing also. We have poems uh, and we have uh, the literature that's so important, not only for us, for these heritage 2700, that there are 400 million uh, Persians speaking all around the world, all the, you know, beyond the, the uh, borders right, that we have right now, uh, right, tiny Iran. So let's talk now about with the size of the Jewish community in the 1960s, when you're growing up, how many? Yeah, there, it was um, it was hundreds of thousands. Uh, it wasn't a Jewish community. Yeah, hundred thousand, uh, and, uh, and maybe it was uh, the second one in the uh, middle east of the population of the Jewish community over there that were allies, uh, businessmen. It's uh, without any the discrimination, living great. It was great. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, the 19th, uh, before the Six Day War, uh, we got uh, to Israel, Israel citizens, and we were in it's, uh, what's that, the Six Day War uh, in Israel. Yeah. And we got back to, on mission over there. And uh, my childhood was uh, in the with the elites, uh, uh, elites. I mean, uh, British uh, Jewish British uh, school over there, and uh, so great experiences uh, that uh, you cannot, uh, uh, you know, after forty two years, uh, you're missing whatever that you have, even your friends. Uh, and uh, uh, classmates uh, that we have uh, uh, during uh, the days that we were living a uh, great war over there as Israelis. Right. Now, my first exposure to Iranian Jews was, in fact, in Yeshiva uh, near Israel in Baltimore uh, in the 1970s when I was studying there as a Bachur. There were quite a few Iranian Jews who made their way to America and studied in near Israel Rabbinical College, uh, then under Rabbi Ruderman. But you talk about enormous, you talk about 100,000 Jews in Iran uh, back in the 1960s. Where, firstly, where was Shushan in relation to Tehran? Do you yeah. know where Shushan? Yeah, Shushan Abiyad is Akbatan and Hamedan. It's located, you know, in the place that you, it's, first of all, the climate of the place is so cold. Second thing, they had two capitals. One was Shushan and second yes. was Akbatan. The tombs of the, the Malka Esther and Mordechai right now is located in the Shushan Abiyad that. A few months ago, it was uh, yeah, because of anti-Semitism and uh, uh, whatever that, uh, uh, you know, every time that Israel is, um, you know, uh, uh, trying to get it, uh, uh, you know, quit uh, mm -hmm. the support and uh, what's the terror, terror support that are bringing uh, weapons and so on and, and uh, our aircrafts and F-35, F-15 and 16 uh, attacking Iraq and uh, Syria and Lebanon, there are so uh, anti Semitists over there. Yes. We have, even that there are minority over there out of the 100,000 that left Iran right now. Uh, we don't, uh, I think it's about uh, 8,000 to 10,000, not more than that. 90% uh, were, uh, you know, left uh, Iran to America as well. You say uh, to, to Baltimore and Rabbanical College over there, Chabad. 
and um, the one and the, maybe the only Zionist, only Zionist rabbi that's uh, served in uh, IDF and uh, intelligence is Rabbi Rahimi, <laughs> got back an Israeli citizen uh, back uh, uh, to Israel. And if the uh, three attitudes, uh, those who are coming from Chabad, bringing the Hasidut uh, to our community, uh, the, you know, it's, uh, it's not just uh, starting Hasidut, not starting from uh, uh, 17th century. It's, in Iran, we have Erfan. Erfan, it means that the uh, mystery uh, that's uh, getting back uh, to uh, uh, getting back so far uh, also in the uh, Persian community and our Iranian Judaica heritage. Uh, the second yeah. attitude is the Baltimore and the Litvak, as we say, <laughs> they they get uh, halachot and so on. And but the Israeli, as the Israeli rabbi, there's the third one, the Harav Kook, that is say uh, we have three circles. As, as first circle is the Torani, Leumi, and Universal. Yeah. First of all, we have to you know to support, to learn uh, and more about the, our heritage. It means the Judaism as a rab as as rabbi as a Dayan, as a Jewish scholar. Second one, leumi, how we can serve our uh, country as Israelis in IDF. It it's been nationality or nationality mm -hmm. of Israelis. And thirdly, universal. It means tikkun olam. That's so important. That uh, uh, with your leadership in Australia and other places in states. Uh, you have the great job to do the Tikkun Olam, uh, it's so important. That's uh, really yes. uh, respectful and uh, the, the honor uh, that's uh, being with you uh, with uh, whatever that you do, not only for your communities, all, all around those who are in contact with you. Yeah. Coming back then, thank you. Coming back then to Iran. So, Shushan, we can talk, we'll talk about Hamadan soon, particularly when we can't speak about Morada Chayn Esther. But um, you're talking, we're talking about 20% of the Jews of Shushan at one point in time, uh, just over two and a half thousand years ago, are, um, are Jewish. Uh, where have they all gone? Uh, don't forget that uh, we the during 2700 uh, years. Uh, Iran Judaica heritage right now that uh, it, uh, I'm the, you know in charge of the Iran Ju uh, Judaica uh, Heritage Center a research center national security and public diplomacy to uh, bring all, all this uh, um, uh, you know all those uh, Jews that were far away spread away because first of all that was conquered by the Ashur uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, second time, uh, we have uh, the Cyrus the Great, uh, 2,500 years ago. That's, uh, uh, we have the declaration of the uh, first human rights in the world. That lets my people go. It wasn't just Moses. The first Zionist after Moses was the Cyrus the Great. The yeah. first Zionist, <laughs> the first Zionist was Iranian. <laughs> so I, I, I cannot understand the antisemitism that we have right now in these places and so on, because we are so great heritage being together for 2700 years. So what does the, what does the average Iranian know about the story of Purim? At some, one point in time, 20% of the population were part of the story. What do they know today? Uh, first of all, Rabbi Victor, uh, you know, after we, we, we're speaking historically, uh, 2700 years, uh, there was straight away to Afghanistan. You can find right now living over there Jews, even they don't know their Jews in Pakistan. Pashtuim, they are, they are seven and eight millions, that's uh, uh, 15 millions. Uh, that uh, they have, uh, I, uh, from my expertise, uh, that's uh, getting and uh, conversions and so on. We have a bait in, in Jerusalem, taking care about them from the uh, years of the Rabbi Bakshi Doron, that was also a, a Persian, coming from the Persian uh, dynasty, the Persian family. 
uh, and uh, the, you know they gave me the mission to be Iranian Communities Coordinator. Uh, whenever that uh, it uh, research uh, the the names of the tribes, you cannot believe that we have Rabani. We have uh, all the ten tribes that were strayed away uh, during the Ashur uh, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India. A, a few months ago, in the last year, we had Seventh Nations uh, Conference in Jerusalem during the Sukkot, uh, coming 55,000 uh, for all around the world, you know, in uh, uh, solidarity with Israel. What was great that, uh, uh, you know, in this conference that I gave my speech uh, to Iran, Jew, uh, Jewish, uh, Iran, uh, Iran Judaic heritage for, for uh, 27 years. Uh, 2700 years it was great rabbi birenbaum was over there also gave uh, his speech uh, that we, we can find uh, the influence of those uh, not only in uh, in uh, iraq right now to, that you uh, can find the scrolls over there uh, not only in uh, you know say, the tajikistan uh, tajikistan uh, uh, where is the uh, Uzbekistan, where it's the Bukhari, it's the uh, Jews, yeah. the Bukhari is over there, also yeah, Azerbaijan, true. and so on. And it's great uh, to know that uh, they, they, they are far away. Maybe they lost their nationality, their relig uh, religion, but right now they have their own relationship uh, with uh, Israel that's not, they're not so. Anti-Semitism, even uh, uh, candle uh, lighting, and all these uh, customs that even they don't know where it's coming from. Even circumcision, do Brit milah so, on the eight days, and uh, and drink uh, drink wine, and they don't really? know why. Wow, it's, but do Iranians not have a history of the story of Purim in their history texts? Yes. Whatever that uh, we have to we have to speak about the period of that Iran was conquered. But say let's say right now, uh, for uh, two years ago, that Islamic yeah. Republic uh, got to the power, and before that, uh, before that, uh, that was Shahan Shah. That's been it means so loyalty of the Jews to the uh, to the Shah, uh, the, the the king, uh, uh, Malka. So we have uh, two. Uh, uh, princes and two queens, uh, uh, Jewish uh, princes, was Shushan Doh, and the second ones uh, that Malkat Esern uh, have their loyalty uh, to the dynasty and to the uh, Hakam Manashi. And say one of the guys say Hakam Hakam Menashe, it means Hakam Menashe. Even they say they are dynasties of uh, ruling the country in Iran that were Jews. Uh, can you believe that? Where these country, right after the you know forty uh, Islamic Republic revolution, became anti-Semitism and they say death to the uh, Israel, but Israel. the Jews, even Jews over there, at uh, right now, and the Iranians, uh, they are aware of the uh, anti-Semitism and you know of Holocaust, uh, even uh, putting uh, the uh, flag of Israel. Magen David, uh, Sarat of David, on the uh, on the streets, uh, and step stop uh, upon it, uh, and the same the U.S. and said just to America, even even though that the regime mm. wants people shouting, the people uh, and, uh, jumping jumping from the they don't uh, they don't step on the flag. It means first of all. Uh, such a great uh, relationship that was before, even right now. Uh, uh, second thing uh, that uh, uh, Purim right now, uh, that uh, taking advantage, uh, uh, it's so important. Whatever that uh, trying to going to tell right now, because of the you know, Holocaust, uh, it's, uh, during the 42 years of the Islamic Republic uh, uh, in Iran. Uh, and they make manipulation of the Purim story. <laughs> and he say yeah. is the uh, Iranian Holocaust. The Jews massacred <laughs> 75,000 uh, Iranians. 
And it's, which we, by the way, have in we have that in the story of Megillah. Yeah, Esther. that's a, that's the reality. But it's say, okay, uh, you say that, but one second and because of the loyalty uh, of the uh, queen Esther and the Mordechai, uh, we uh, the response uh, Rabbi Rahimi as a you know the Middle East yeah. uh, uh, exercise and uh, the ones that uh, trying to gonna have uh, panels uh, with them uh, and uh, debates. I say that you know what we as a Jews. And not only it's, uh, uh, you know, have wine at the Vesume at Shaloyeda, mm -hmm. not only Kriyata Megillah, not only we have it, uh, mm -hmm. four mitzvot, and uh, so that mitzvah uh, also the Matanot we have yonim, uh, to going to help others, not only Mishum Dar Kishonom, not only for ourselves, also taking care about financially others, homelesses, and so on. We are obliged, we are obligations to going to uh, help them. I don't forget that machatzit uh, shekel, mine and your half a coin, uh, gonna uh, accomplish uh, one each other. You know, to complete. That's correct. That's correct. So means, Let me ask, if if I may. Yeah. I just want to because we're going to run short on time. I want to ask you, where is the kever, the tomb of Mordechai Esther? Is it still in Iran today? Yes, uh, is uh, still uh, today. Even that's. Uh, uh, the shul that's beside it was uh, burned. I don't know because anti-Semitism and so on, but uh, it's already over there. We have uh, the picture of, uh, from there. And this, uh, and whatever that they tried to say, uh, to say that uh, it was the, the, even not only we have the Arba Mitzvot, we have the uh, make uh, the uh, Purim, not only yeah. Carnival, as it's uh, being together, so that means, but, even though the Persians, not only, uh, to, you know, they have to, to join us, they also have to be happy. Why? Because the, uh, the Jews in Iran prevented the first Holocaust that should be in the years of the, uh, 1938 to 1945 by Hitler and the Nazis as a national socialist. Uh, that uh, they have over there. So they prevented. Uh, so it means that you as Iranians, you have to join us for the party of the Purim. That we prevented. We say 75,000 were massacred. It was defending. Also in Israel, right, right now, we defend this uh, in existence by attacking uh, the, 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 those that terrorists that want to uh, attack us and so on. But altogether, yeah. in brief, it's so important uh, intercultural and interfaith dialogue. And uh, we say tikkun olam, so important that you're gonna, as the rabbis, as the Jewish scholars, not only gonna know uh, Bala Musek, uh, also said, was uh, one of them, uh, but uh, the importance and significance, it's uh, that uh, we are in contact with the others, with Gentiles. Uh, uh, we have so can I pick up on that, please? Can I yeah. ask you then, um, what's the relationship between the Jews and the Iranians today in Iran? Are you in touch yeah, with? Yeah, yeah it's you? so so important, uh, Victor, Rabbi Victor, right now, to the, your question, because the, a few months ago, uh, whenever Trump ordered to uh, you know to uh, to uh, you know to kill uh, Qasem Soleimani, the great uh, you know the terror terrorist besides uh, the Hashd al-Shabi that was in Iraq airport outside the Iraq airport uh, we had uh, the leaders and the spiritual leaders in, in Iran uh, they got uh, for the ceremony of Qasem Soleimani <laughs> and all the magazines over here calling, calling me Mr. Rabbi Rahimi, what's going on over there? They're all the orthodox with the hats, black hats, getting over there and they're trying to say, Nihumim to Qasem Soleimani, what's going on over there? And they say, no. Uh, the point is that Mishum Darke Shalom, yeah. even they, uh, not only they don't criticize the regime that you are, uh, they gave them as a minority, uh, they have uh, their own, uh, let's say, uh, their own uh, parliamentarists uh, 
uh, right now in the uh, Islamic uh, the parliament, uh, they say we are not Zionists. It means that you give up your nationality and you say, mm. first of all, we are Iranians. Second one, secondary, we are Jews. But in America, whenever they go Jews over there, that from most of the globalists and uh, those nationalists right now living in Israel, the Iranian over here, that more than 300,000, uh, don't forget the president of Israel, Moshe Katsav, was Persian. Yeah. Uh, Shaul, yeah. uh, Shaul Mufaz, also Eitan Ben Eliyahu, uh, also Dan Khalut, uh, three generals uh, were uh, the Persians, uh, the half Persians of Persians. Uh, and the chief rabbi of Israel, also Rabbi Bakshi Duran. And the uh, the, 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 the way of Sika, it wasn't the same because uh, taking, taking also the yeah. East and West together and have Psaq Halakha uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, we, in memory, uh, we say it from the Rabbi Chief Rabbi of Israel, Rabbi yeah. Bakshi Doran, that he passed away a few months ago because of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, are the Jews in Iran safe? Uh, even that we are a minority, it's, uh, the Ahl al-Kitab, those are, they have the Sefer, they have the books, uh, they have Bible, uh, like Christians, Zoroastrians, uh, and so on. They are uh, under the, uh, let's say, under the ruling uh, of uh, Islam, uh, the Ahl al-Kitab, Ahl al uh, we say uh, in Arabic. Uh, yeah. They are, um, they have aman. Aman, it means they have their own support. They can do whatever that they want. They cannot get uh, to be generals and officers. They cannot mm -hmm. uh, uh, get to the politics. But uh, as a businessman right now, uh, as elites uh, in Iran, uh, they are great, uh, living great, uh, and declaring themselves that we're not Zionists. We don't have any connection with Israel. And uh, a few months ago, I think a year ago, uh, also, uh, they uh, they had uh, uh, you know takanot um, uh, and whatever uh, the decrees. Rules, yes, uh, uh, that uh, they're gonna forbid any Jew to be in contact with the uh, any Israeli agent or uh, whatever that's uh, gonna hurt the national security of Iran. But uh, totally, we can say they are not Zionists; they're Jews. That yes. they have their own book and Bible and uh, mostly respected uh, by the regime. Right. And one final question. I, I noticed that I found your your name on a on a website called the Iranian Congress. Yes. What is what is the Iranian Congress and what is it that you do? I think a few years ago, it said, as a opposition, opposition, uh, not only Iran Communist Coordinator, also opposition. Uh, that we we're looking for democracy in Iran. Uh, every time, we not only uh, we have uh, think tanks uh, with the opposition, we're learning from them and uh, they make uh, the real relationship that was with our heritage we have 2700 years. Uh, also, being in the Washington, uh, Washington D.C., Pentagon, Congress, and so on, and uh, trying to kind of have the uh, right uh, constitution for democracy uh, and free uh, Iran all together. Uh, it means that uh, 42 years right now, they are under the uh, conquer of the uh, Islamic Republic that's far away uh, from the, the uh, first civilization, uh, you know, uh, that was in Iran, it was Jirov, uh, all these uh, uh, places right now, they have a great Persia. And the first declaration of freedom of the Jews from Babylon was by mm -hmm. Cyrus the Great 2,500 years ago. And we had two queens, Esther Malka and Shushandok, that were Jews in Iran. Uh, even dynasties that were uh, Jews over there. And uh, uh, we have uh, right now uh, also with the intellectuals, uh, Iranian uh, intellectuals, too many uh, programs, uh, more than 2,000 uh, programs on the YouTube, the uh, Alvin uh, uh, 2600 uh, that you can find. 
that's uh, it's it's something special, uh, Rabbi yes. Figdo, that we have if, the if, same we have the same festivals. Yes. The same festival on the same seasons, you know. Our Pesach, they have their no no rules. Our it's uh, Shavuot, the same thing at uh, Hanukkah, Meharagan, and uh, Ilanot, they have uh, the Sadeh yes. festival. It's it means that uh, something special happening with these uh, uh, two Iranian. So Obviously, a there's obviously an overlap between the Iranian culture and, and Jewish culture. Yes, it, because uh, uh, we were, uh, we say, we say uh, cultural diplomacy. What is in cultural diplomacy? That we are influenced by Iranians as well. Uh, we influence uh, these uh, civilizations, as you can find in the uh, Talmud uh, of uh, the, um, Talmud Bavli, and you can find uh, uh, the rabbi, uh, one of the rabbis of Kurat Yosef, that was also a person of Ben Zion, uh, said uh, that uh, it should be called uh, the, not the Talmud Bavli, is a Persian Bavli, a Persian Talmud. Persian Why? Talmud. Because for the uh, 1,500 years ago, it was written under the ruling and dynasty of Iranians. Whenever that they have the, you know, the Menuchat uh, nefesh that you can write uh, for uh, 100 years, uh, the Mishnah and Gemara, uh, it's uh, under uh, ruling of this uh, dynasty. So, so so respectful uh, that uh, even if, uh, you know 42 years uh, in comparison with uh, 27 uh, 2700 uh, Iran Judaica heritage that we have it's nothing but uh, because they because uh, that Iranians uh, as well uh, Jews uh, mostly 70 percent of the, the Jews right now in uh, in America it, um, in elections, the voting Democrats. Why? Because we are looking yes. for democracy. You can find democracy in your Bible. We can find the democracy and human rights. And uh, you, you got the inspiration. Jefferson got the inspiration of the uh, Cyrus, the Cyrus. So it means such a great heritage that we have yes. uh, that uh, we want to be others and not be also, it's so important. It, just remember where you're coming from, where are you going, and in front of whom uh, you're gonna uh, stand in for justice. That's right. We've pretty much run out of time, but I wanted to thank you <laughs> all the way from, from Australia. <laughs> To Jerusalem, I know you're not in Iran now. Uh, by the way, would you, if you're a member of the Iranian Congress, would you feel safe going visiting Iran? Uh, at the same time, whenever that I invited, I was invited to Washington D.C. I was uh, really, it's, uh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. considering uh, the, all the consideration of it, uh, the ones uh, getting as a diplomat, cultural di diplomat. But it wasn't the same uh, uh, first time getting to uh, Washington. Also got to other places, uh, and therefore the maybe for the first time after Marmara crisis that we have as a cultural uh, a diplomat, mm -hmm. as well uh, uh, with the uh, with the Tunis uh, Tunisia Tunisia diplomats uh, yes. ambassadors in uh, Turkey as well as Saudi Jordan and Lebanon. And uh, all of the places that the, even you cannot imagine, we had Iftar. We had all together the, at Ankara and this place in, in the, also in Europe got together because whenever the speaking Rabbi Victor is speaking humanity, human rights, is speaking from heart to heart, it's, it, you see the Tikkun Olam, that's the Tikkun Olam, yeah. to be, you know, the uh, brightening and lighting the world uh, to be all going. So uh, as the rabbis and Jewish scholars, it's so important that we expand our, all our knowledge and wis wisdom, not only for Shabbat for the Jews. It means Shabbat, rest, resting, also taking away 
your phone, uh, your, uh, let's say, your uh, cell phone, uh, put it away just 24 hours and see how you're going to feel uh, uh, these uh, days. And that's the yeah. uh, tikkun olam that we can also not going to be influenced, uh, also to influence others, and we have something to gonna, uh, give to others. And it's yes. uh, uh, great to be a Jew and to uh, influence others, uh, uh, not any uh, obligations, but to say such a great thing to be uh, more related. And right now, uh, maybe instead of uh, families, we have families, to be family, family all together. Yes. And you as a, a rabbi, as a Jewish scholar, as a, a your, under your leadership in Australia, in your community, that you have such a great uh, a mission that every time we come from the conference to, is, uh, to Israel and uh, to Which Jews, is when we catch up, yes. It's, uh, it's so uh, significant, your role uh, that you have in your community and influencing not only your community, also have Tikkun Olam, uh, through this uh, mission that you have uh, worldwide. Thank you. Now, thank you very, very much. Wishing you a Tzom Kal. Of course, today is Tanit <laughs> Esther and a Tzom Kal. And tonight for us, Purim, but in Rishalayim, apparently you've got three days I hear this year. You've got Purim Mishulash. Yeah. I'll have to teach my congregation a bit about Purim Mishulash, but you've got a few days ahead of you. We've got Purim tonight and tomorrow, but I wish you Purim Sameach and only good news coming from Kimitzion Tetze Torah and also Surot Tovot coming from Zion. Amen. Wishing you all the very yeah. best. Yeah, thank you very much for joining thank, us. Thank you very much and all the best from Jerusalem. And don't forget that Purim Meshulas, it's not uh, the fast is on the on the Thursday. We have. We have a Shabbat and we have a, a, the, the Sunday that we Purim which also make us being together and have joy and happiness and healthiness, uh, wishing not only your community, all communities are right now that you know watching uh, uh, this uh, program. Uh, it's not going to be the first time that we're together. Uh, we're going to have uh, more. It's uh, programs uh, all together. If there is any questions, uh, it's, we're going to have, uh, we are in service. And uh, thank you very much. And your community, uh, under your leadership, uh, you you do a great job at the uh, pandemic, uh, mm. it's, you know, era. Not me personally, but Australian crisis. government's done well, yes. And so it's so important that uh, uh, those that right now work far away, also going to uh, uh, you know, to support financially your community, uh, and because you're you're working more harder than than ever uh, face to face, uh, that even your life is in danger. Uh, whenever that you're in contact with, with your community, with the people, with the kids, uh, as well uh, teaching them, young couples, elders, and uh, uh, students. So all the best from Jerusalem was great and pleasure, honor, gonna be with you. We Australians, but don't forget we are Jews. <laughs> That's right. 